Today, I am going to go over, though, how you can integrate Microsoft Copilot with your existing tools today, and you don't have to wait for all the new features and functions to come out. For those that you don't know me, my name is Ryan Staley, and I help companies deploy AI skill transformation. And this one specifically hit home because I was spent about almost 20 hours testing Microsoft Copilot, all the capabilities and use cases within there. And these are some of the really cool use cases that I came up with and ideas. And so I'm going to share those with you today and go through all three of them and how you could do that as well. Because Microsoft has over 365 million end users. And so I'm going to share with you something though, because I'm a big fan of visuals on how you can deploy this today. Let me share my screen and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. We are going to get in the tool as well. And I'm going to show you within Copilot what I mean. But I'm going to start off with this story because I think this hits home really in terms of where this is full use case. I want to show some visuals so this sticks, okay? So what I'm trying to think about when I'm looking at these concepts, I'm like, why aren't people implementing some of these AI tools or use cases specifically in business? And so what I want to look at is, okay, what can we learn from the past? And one of the things that really resonates with me is when I looked up the Industrial Revolution and effectively what happened with the Model T. So if you're not familiar with the Model T, in the early 1900s, Ford actually created the Model T and they used to be created and built from one single person. Now that one single person was known as a craftsman. It took them effectively almost like 13 hours to build it and the cost of the car was $850. Now fast forward, what you're gonna see is a few years later, they switched to what's called an assembly line. And as you can see here, what they did is instead of having one person do everything that was burnt out, that was just mentally and emotionally exhausted, built one car in like 13 hours and it cost a high structure to build at that time, the $850. The assembly line, what it did is it broke that down into multiple pieces, right? So that every person had a responsibility for their function that they did. Some people put on the doors, some people put on the tires. And so what happens is effectively they built cars in 63 minutes instead of 13 hours. People were much happier in terms of their job and work. And then at the same time, what they were able to do too is effectively bring the cost of the car down to 350, 250 bucks, okay? That resembles, in my mind, something very similar to what we're running into today. So basically they did it at 30% of the cost, they did it in 8.3% of the time, and they 20X the output of number of the cars annually. Okay, so I think it went from like 200,000 to 2 million. Okay, so what I am bringing this story to you for is the same thing's happening with knowledge work. And what we're able to do is we're able to move from a craftsman, no matter what we do, if we're in sales, marketing, operations, leadership, HR, you name it, and we're able to make that shift and become an assembly line and delegate what we would instead of people, we're gonna delegate that to AI. So that's the course concept and the nature of what we're doing. And here's the three core areas that I am seeing that are super critical of how you can integrate this in your apps, okay? So if you look at the first one here, there's the Microsoft Web Copilot. Okay, that's real-time insights. I'm gonna break down and show you an example of that so you can see what I'm talking about. There's the Workspace Copilot. So if you have Microsoft 365 um, and the Plus version, you'll have a Workspace Copilot. Once again, I'm stumbling over my words. It was a long holiday weekend, had a lot of fun. But anyways, um, so what that'll do is you could recall across different apps and pull up information like that, okay? And then the last but not least is really the application copilot. So within Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, all and even Teams, you have those opportunities to really get a rich, deep experience only specifically within that app, okay? So th these are the three kind of legs of the stool that we're talking about. Now there's other ways where you can integrate this in your CRM and other capabilities. I'm keeping it high level, not really high level, I'm keeping it more specific to this because otherwise the video would be way, way too long. I wanna make sure we get this in time. If you look at this, this is how it's kind of set up in Copilot Pro, okay? When I say Copilot Pro, this is set up if you pay the extra license and you have Microsoft 365. Now, what you're seeing here is there's a work feature here and a web feature. The web feature, once it's in, that's current data, real time, and this is more your internal work data, okay? So you gotta switch this back and forth. Right now is the time of recording. They do not let you see the chat, like history in terms of the web. However, that's supposed to change in the middle of June, according to what Microsoft's telling me. So that's what I'm hearing too. And here's another good summary of it too, as you can see, tell me about top ed headlines by an industry type, create a table comparing A and B, you know, how come interest rates have changed? You know, so those are obviously the web data. And at the same time, draft an email with notes, summarize messages from a busy week, catch up on updates and tasks, 
So once again, this, this could be integrated into email as well. And I'll, I'll show you some different examples. Now, this is a really cool feature that most people do not know, have not heard of, have no freaking clue. And the reason why is because the majority of the global population uses Chrome. Now, what this is embedded in is this is with an edge. And I'm gonna show you this where basically you could dialogue directly with a PDF or a web page and have some really unique capabilities that are done in real time, as well as create content from it. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to do it. So let me pop over and I'm going to show you right now what that looks like. All right. So let's click over on the edge example. All right. So this is a web page that I pulled up in edge. This is uh, one of the cover pages off of, you know, Microsoft's uh, edges kind of, I don't know, their intro page, if you will. So I'm like, okay, Bill Gates, you need to read this new book on AI and education. Very timely, very relevant to what we're looking at, right? So what we're gonna do here is you're gonna see this little area up in the right corner, this little co-pilot icon, right? So let's click on that. And then what it does is it, it gives you the capability to compose or to chat. Now, the awesome thing about this is you can generate a page summary or suggest questions about this page, right? So let's start with generate a page summary and I have it toggled on to more precise. So let's generate the page, sum generate the page summary. Once again, man, I'm I'm struggling today. I'm not at my A game, okay? But I will get there for you, I promise. So as it's building out, this could summarize a long article about what's important. It's talking about Khan Academy and the rollout of, of what it's being done. And at the same time, it talks about Bill Gates's view and, you know, basically optimism for the next decade for this. So one of the other cool things is like, you could say, okay, like you could drill down on a lot of these other areas. Like tell me about Conmigo's features. So that's the AI tool. So let's, let's click on that and see what it is. And so basically it's searching across the web. The cool thing about it is I don't have to go on Google and search, but now what it's talking about is an AI powered tutor uh, for teachers, learners, and parents, lesson planning, discussion prompts, recommended assignments, exit tickets, learning objectives. I mean, this is pretty hyper detailed and it happens super fast, okay? So this is more the summary angle. Like I said, you could have, oh wow, it's going through, it's still going. Learners for parents, okay. So this is pretty impressive here. Learning new skills, critical thinking. I, get, I like this, I might check this thing out. I might even do a video on this, who knows, okay? So now that we have that here, now let's look in the Compose area. Compose is a little bit different. So the Compose feature is really about creating content in here. And that could be, you know, for emails, that could be ideas, blog posts. Okay, now let's say I wanted to, let's go back to chat, right? And a simple way, I haven't even tested this, but here's a summary of this, right? So let me just copy this. Let's go to Compose. I'm just going to the summary, okay, Compose. And I could put write an email to my sales enablement department to look into this, right? I'm gonna do that. Okay, professional. I could say enthusiastic is my tone. I have an email. Let's do it medium in length, and then I'll type out and generate this draft. All right. So it gives the the subject. The thing I hate is when AI does this. I hope this message finds you well. Like whenever somebody sends that to me, the message does not find me well. So I think it's egregiously annoying, but it's 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 a flaw in AI. So if you're typing an email, that's the number one tell in an email to an executive or a business leader of effectively like that it's an AI generated email, okay? So that's how it is. Obviously we can do that. We can make it shorter and then we can generate the draft and it'll do that as well. Okay, so these are some of the hidden features specifically on the, you know, the website that you get to leverage via Edge. Okay, so the next step, we are gonna go back to, like we looked at this, remember we, we talked about number two, this is the workplace feature, okay? So you click on this little icon here, the Microsoft 365 Office, and what you could do is look at it. And this is what in, pops up natively, all right? So what I have here is this, this is home, and as you, you can see, I have different docs in here, different things for the AI skill transformation training that I do. I even have a sample doc in here. If you click on Copilot, something really cool happens. You have this, this uh, ability to look across those docs. So I could say, create a, let's say a hundred word email on, and then you click forward slash, and then all the files come up that, that you have, right? All people files, 
So you could look at like a meeting, you could look at an email, a file, people, but let's just go. So Jolt Effect was basically a doc that I created on the book, The Jolt Effect, which is basically stating that executives and companies, the, the biggest reason why people do not buy is because they're afraid to make a mistake. Okay, so I said, create a hundred word email on the Jolt Effect for my team so that they can understand up and upcoming training. So now what it's doing is it's creating that, but it's tapping into the actual Word doc that's in my OneDrive file. Okay, this is super critical because you can do this across PowerPoints, you can do this across emails, you can do this across meetings. And there's much deeper embedded capabilities, specifically with Teams. I have not had a ton of time to test that one yet uh, because there's some new features that Satya announced at Microsoft last week. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so I would give this a thumbs down. Not very happy. Let's try it. Please try again and give me a 200 word summary. So maybe I did not, maybe a hundred words was, was too short. And so let's see if it does a little bit better job. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's much better. So it's, it's getting into much more detail. So it's got the email okay, and it types this out. Okay, so now the way that you could use this, what we're, like I said at the beginning of the video, one of the things is they, how to integrate AI in your existing applications. This is a super easy way because we're using existing applications. We can copy it and we can pop over to Outlook and, and send an email out very easily, right? We could send this message out for Teams or we could leverage some of these other capabilities. Now, some hidden gold is, as you've seen, there's been prompt resources that have come out for, for actually Claude, as well as Gemini, and even Microsoft has someone. But most people don't know about this one. If you're in here, you can click on view prompts, all right? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna come up with some, some basic ones. Now, what you can do is it has these different categories, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is click on see all prompts, which I don't know that why do they make you do it twice. And you have to make sure that you are signed in. So let me make sure I'm signed in. Before this hops, I'm gonna take this off the screen in case I need to sign it in. So I don't share with you my password. So let me sign into this real quick. And the reason why I'm signing into it is because it customizes exact effective setup that I have. This is the bigger version, right? You have 365 with the Copilot Plus or Pro, that's, this is what will come up. So what you do in here is it basically has all these different use cases for the different application. So this is how you can use AI in your applications. For example, I click Word, right? These are all the ones. Add a table, summarize a doc, give me specific examples, right? Let's say I want one for Excel. Here's another way. Add a column, extract you know, the, the month from date. Uh, suggest a column, are there any outliers in this data, right? You could also do it by this. Let's say we wanted to create, let's do it across, let's do it across all. Right. So what it'll do is get off to a great start, share meeting notes, follow up. And then, you know, one that, like I said, I haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time in, but I think it's probably extremely powerful is teams. Like you could catch up, right. You could catch up on questions the group had, uh, be prepared, what decisions were made, get clarity, like all different, really, really good use cases. Okay. So we're hitting the home stretch. I have to show you the in application use case. And we're almost out of time here. Here's a, uh, here's like the exact example of what we're on, right? Here's a way that you could use it. And each one of these has these capabilities. I'll probably go deeper on the individual use cases, but if you see up here, there's a co-pilot and a designer. If you click on designer, this is what I love about this, okay? So it, it basically reshapes. This one's a video, as you can see, this one's also animated and there's all these other areas that you could have. Now you can click see more designs as well. And within there, I could create basically any of these designs that I need. So let's say if I want to click this one, right? It's got a step-by-step -step guide. It looks a little pixelated. I think it, it maybe it's because the video is on or whatever, but like here's another example, how to integrate it, step-by-step -step guide. And so that's a really simple way to do it. Then there's also a co-pilot icon within the doc so that I could do different things, right? And this is where it starts to compound. So effectively, as it pulls up, you can see, you can create a pr presentation, add a slide, ask a question about the deck. So these are the examples that you could tap into. And like I said, as we kind of started off, these are the three levels. We go from the web co-pilot to the workspace, to the application, 
This is fundamentally going to do amazing things for you. I think you literally shave out 10 to 15 hours a week if you just understand how to use this at a high level. Uh, I've been using it and my clients that I'm working with are blown away by what's possible and how much easier things are for them and when they're working. And so I wanted to share this with you today so you had an understanding on it. If you haven't checked it out, I also do have other videos on full tutorials with ChatGPT 4.0 or Copilot as well. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video.